Okay, so you've already had a look at this paper copy of the deviation list. When I go on inspections, I would typically obtain an electronic copy from the company. They're very easy to come by. It's, it's easy for a company with an electronic system to extract that information in an Excel spreadsheet. And on a small company, people typically use Excel spreadsheets anyway to keep track of things. So you've had a look at this and I'm going to show you what I would do. So first of all, I'm going to make the spreadsheet a bit easier for me to navigate. So I'm going to click over here and I'm going to do view. I'm up here at view and freeze panes and the top one there, freeze panes. That means if I scroll up and down now, I still have the headers, which is particularly useful. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, then I'm going to choose row 2, and on row 2, if I highlight it there, and go over to data, and click this filter button, it's a very useful button, a, a lot of you will have used it before. Uh, so if I click on that, it will filter, or put in these uh, little arrows that allows you to filter data. So first of all, I'm going to go across to this box here, and... I'm going to type in um, days to close here, right? And then I'm going to type equals, and then I'm going to click on the box next to the date that it was closed, the deviation, then type minus, and then go along to the due date over here and click on that. So this comes out with a number, and that's the number of days that the difference between the close date and the due date. Now here, it's minus 37, so it was actually closed 37 days early, which is good. But if I now click on that box and move my mouse down to the bottom right-hand corner till it forms a little plus, if you double-click on that, it then auto-fills all the way down the list to save you having to do that manually. Right, now you can also then use this filter button up here and I'm going to sort largest to smallest. So I'm looking for the longest time it took for deviations to be closed. And here basically it's 349 days, nearly a year overdue uh, for a couple. And what I like to do is select down to a sensible number. So here, 188 days, so six months, slightly more than. And I've selected those. And if you go down here, you can actually see there's a count. So it's showing that there's eight of these that are overdue, more than six months, which is uh, fairly significant. So first of all, uh, overdue action implementation from last inspection. Right, okay. Well, that's something to have a look at. It was um, closed a few days ago. Then uh, delay in preparation of deviation trends. Uh, after pre-batch cleaning, deviation was raised for unknown oily liquid contaminant being present in V102. Right, so that sounds quite interesting, and actually I've just noticed that that is down as a minor. And so what I do is, if I something I'm interested in, I go back up to home, uh, then go and pick a colour, let's call it yellow, and highlight the deviation number there in yellow. Right, and then move down. Fluid bed dryer stopped again for an hour during production at the start of the drying process, and no data was retrievable. The word again there intrigues me, so I'm going to click that. Uh, BMS not in compliance to Annex 11. That doesn't sound too good either. And select that. And uh, purified water system leaking, uh, memory fuel. Okay, uh, nothing else immediately there. So the other thing you can do, obviously I'm picking those ones because they have been open a long time, which tends to mean there's been issues, they've been forgotten about, they've fallen out of the system, uh, or people don't know what to do with them. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to sort and uh, do it smallest to largest. Now this is going to throw up some things that might confuse you at first. There's some minus 42,741. For some reason, Excel... When there's no close date, i.e. it's open, it uh, assigns that a date of zero, um, nothing, no entry, assigns a date of 
think it's the 1st of January 1900. So it's subtracting um, 2017 from 1900. So let's have a look. These ones aren't overdue because they're uh, due in 2017. Uh, neither are these ones. Well, that one is, but that one's only just overdue. So let's look here. So I'm scrolling down and there are, if I go down here, 13 that are overdue. And of these, some are overdue for quite a while. So there's one that's been open for uh, nearly a year. Um, so let's have a look at that, possibly. Put that on our short list, our long list. And QP, not aware of change of timeline. Okay, interesting. Um, audit trail does not appear to be complete for testing known to be carried out. Uh, quite interesting. Okay, so let's take that one onto our long list. I'm up here just picking colour. And oh, Rogue Tablet found during production. Okay, that's been open for quite a long time. That's nearly a year on a Rogue Tablet. That's not typical. Right, so those are, we've looked at the long close, long open. Right, so now let's go back to this list, uh, go up to the top and have a look at the classification. So I can filter here. If I go down there, I can unselect all and then just pick certain ones. So let's pick the criticals and click OK. And it's come up with two code missing on cartons and text added that was not in compliance with MA or wrong material added to batch, second person check not completed, critical human error. Well, after what you've heard so far in the presentation, you know that I'm going to be interested in a human error, particularly on a critical deviation. So I'm going to pick that. Now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to deselect and I'm going to pick majors. So if we go down to the corner here, uh, you'll see that there's 29 majors. And right, let's have a quick look through those. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to sort this column, the brief description on an A to Z so that if there's any repeats, they will jump out probably. Okay, black particles observed in blend, black particles observed in blend, uh, batch rejected, batch rejected. Uh, these were two, just a few days apart. So I'm going to take the second one because that way you should then find out that there, uh, there's been a consideration of the previous incidents. So again, I'll select it on color. Let's scroll down here. Uh, anything. No change control for the implementation of the limbs. Rogue tablet, rogue tablet, found during production. Which was the most recent? Uh, well, there's a more recent one. Um, this might be one of those ones, because there's a more recent one which has been closed, but the old one hasn't. I'd be tempted to have a look at both of those and see if they're referenced. And vendor audit schedule has not been maintained and audit's not performed as per plan. Okay, so uh, maybe something to pick up later on during the inspection. Right, okay, so that's 29. Let's move down to, I'm going to go up here. Let's move down to the miners. We have 110 uh, miners. And again, I'm going to sort it from A to Z to see if there's anything that jumps out at me just in case uh, because if there's multiple examples then you would sort of expect it to be raised to a major ah right micro lab media used before being released three times here and all miners and um, what's the most recent it's that one isn't it so July 16th. So again, I'm going to select that because uh, it's clear to me that it's a recurring issue. So if it hasn't been fixed, why is it not been escalated? Okay. Uh, rogue tablet found during line clearance checks prior to startup. Mm. Uh, self inspections not been done. Okay. Stability. TLC. Uh, equipment failed and all right okay that would do for there so um, what can happen sometimes is you can forget what you have 
filtered. So if I go up here to data, click on it, and where we put the filter on originally, yeah, there's also a clear button. So I'm going to clear it and that will go back to the full list again. And now I'm interested in the root causes. So I'm going to sort A to Z and just have a quick flick through. Uh, cleaning data integrity, always interesting. Okay, uh, maybe come back to that later on. There's a few equipment ones here. Equipment failure, no, equipment is, ah, there we go, equipment failure. There's quite a lot of equipment failures. Again, if I just select the ones that are there, just highlight them. Down here, it will tell me how many there are, and it says 31 equipment failures out of 187. It's quite a lot. And now human errors, there's there's a good number of human errors here. Um, uh, lack of awareness, I would say, was probably human error as well. There's. Let's just go to the bottom of the list quickly. We've seen line clearance, a couple of those. Operator error is what I would think of as human error. People availability. Samples not being analysed on time. Right, I might not pull that deviation, but I'm going to look at that when I get to QC because people availability is an issue. Uh, poor planning. Uh, stability chambers not topped up with water a couple of times, three times. So there's something to look at in QC. Resource availability, that's pretty close to people availability for me. So hold time exceeded. Primary packing could not be started within hold time from last stage of manufacturing. Okay, so again, I'm going to be looking at uh, the that issue when I get to manufacturing. And a few others. What I will do here is quickly, there's an interesting thing. So if I've got, I've gone up to root cause here move down into text filters. I'm going to type in error because what can be useful sometimes is people might call human error, analyst error, operator error, but that's all really human error. So let's have a look down and just scroll down this list. Due to human error, human error, human error, Hoyman error, judgment error. Now I would say judgment error is human error, operator error. Uh, SOP for change control not followed, typographical error, SOP not clear. Okay, so let's click those. And if we go down here, there's been 35 of these have been identified as human error. So that's not, that's not good. That's about uh, more than 20% as human error. Okay, so now again, I'm going to go back up to here, hit data and clear the filters that are on. And then I'm going to do something so i'm going to you won't see this but i'll hit control f and by hitting control f it comes up with a search now i'm going to search for a few things so uh let's try contamination but it's always better to put contam rather than contamination and i'm going to hit find all and that will give a list here it's not you can't see it at the moment but if i move this box wider and make it taller uh, there's only one, which is contamination, and that's it highlighted down here, and it's actually one I've already chosen. So pick another word. Um, black for black specs. Go over here, type, uh, I've typed it, now hit find all. Three black specs observed, right? We've already picked one of them. And I saw something on purified water. So let's have a look at purified and find all. One, two, three, four, five, six on purified water. And the system had to be broken into. System was not circulating for an a what? System was not circulating for a number of hours. Minor equipment failure. Well, we talked about equipment failure, so let's add that to our list. Home and add it as yellow. Uh, you can do a couple of other searches in here to help you understand. Uh, but let's call it a day at that. So we've got a list. What I'm now going to do is get that long list into a short list. If I go up to here and click on this button. Now, you can filter by a few things. You can sort by color, but you can also filter by color. So I colored mine yellow. So let's click on those. And it brings out all the ones that I had picked before. And I've picked 11 here. So uh, let's just very quickly go um, black particles. Let's call that a red and definitely going to look at it. 
uh, make it red text. Uh, micro lab, uh, yes, I wanted to look at that. Make that red text. I'll try and make it red text. Let's try again. Here we go. Yep, got it. Uh, BMX, uh, BMS, not in compliance to Annex 11. And uh, yeah, why not? Let's take that. The rogue tablet, let's have the one that was open the longest. Home and red. And where was that critical? In there. Wrong uh, material added to batch. Home and critical. Right. So there are my one, two, three, four. Uh, well, I've still got one I can do. So let's pick one more. And audit trail. There's a QC one. And yeah, go for that. Home red. So one, two, three, four, five. There's my five deviations to look at. Okay, hopefully you found that helpful and we can discuss it live. Thank you.